Good news! Miz is finally ready to have that face-to-face -face you've been begging for ever since you got back from NXT. It's about time. Should I go to his office? Oh, no. He wants to see you in the ring after your next match. <laughs> okay. What does Miz have planned this time? It's nothing to be worried about. Just go take care of business in your match, and then you'll get your face time with the boss. When it comes to you two, I don't believe for a second that there's nothing to be worried about. But if this is the only way I can get the Miz to stop dodging me, then I'll do it. This is exciting. It's the start of a brand new chapter. <laughs> if you say so. tradition, but ready to make his own moves to the top of WWE. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Dark Horse. It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the Dark Horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. Great action unfolding here on SmackDown as our WWE Universal Champion takes on Santos Escobar in a non-title encounter. The Dark Horse has been in the doghouse since his trip down to NXT. Maybe GM Miz will throw him the bone soon. Why should he? The champion abandoned Miz and SmackDown. If it were up to me, he'd be taking up permanent residence in that doghouse. Oh, kick right to the back. Gets him with the counter. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Capped off with a big one. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an awesome. Spine buster. buster. Mm -mm -mm. Steer clear of that. Running knee lift. Stomp in the leg. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. And well-timed maneuver there. Oh, by a forearm smash. Ooh. Oh, kick right to the spine. Oh, God. Worried look on the face of Escobar. This can't be how Santos envisioned tonight going. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Oh, kick right to the back. Here's a combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Bloody cross! Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. I think we're gonna see it! Gut buster! Escobar might be getting a little perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Listen to the impact. Lurch 
just on the shoulders. Oh. Feeling like it's over for Santos. The cover. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory in his impressive reign. He's been on an absolute tear since he was stripped of the NXT Championship. It certainly seems to have given him some up, extra up. motivation. Well, here's the source of that extra motivation, The Miz. I know you've been dying to have it out with me face to face since your little trip down to NXT. But I've been working on something that makes it so I don't ever need to talk to you again. Something that makes you irrelevant. And not just to me, but the entire WWE Universe. Because let's get one thing straight. I wasn't going to sit back and let you jump ship and steal my WWE Universal Championship again. No. I'm taking control of my brand's most important asset by creating a new one. So as we head down the road to WrestleMania, it's my pleasure to announce that SmackDown will send a champion to the Showcase of the Immortals who we can be proud of. Not a Universal Champion, forever in the shadow of Roman Reigns. But instead, someone whose star shines brighter than the universe itself. So allow me to introduce the first ever Multiversal Infinite Champion, Logan Paul! You've got to be kidding me. Can Miz really do this? He can't until someone with a bigger paycheck stops him. Finally, we have the must-see champion I've always wanted. Stop right there. You better not come any closer, because if you lay a hand on my real champion, you will face severe consequences. Besides, I don't need my new champion fighting someone who's meaningless. Now let's go to break with no shots of the irrelevant champion. I still can't believe Miz did this. The road to WrestleMania just took a very unexpected detour. Where's Miz? We need to talk about his latest stunt. Sorry. Miz is at a press junket with his new multiversal infinite champion. So many outlets want to talk to Logan. <laughs> Did you know he has over 80 million followers across his various social media platforms? How many do you have? Don't know, but I have a lot more wrestling wins than Logan Paul. He's a part-timer who shows up even less than Roman did. And more importantly, I actually won my championship instead of it being made up and handed to me by The Miz. Cool. All championships were made up at some point. But anyway, enough talk. You better go get ready. Now that you're mostly irrelevant, you've been relegated to the opening match slot. Seriously? We go live in 30, so be at Gorilla a few minutes before that. We're going to start the show with you already in the ring. No need to see your entrance for the millionth time. Have fun out there! We know Miz has big plans for his newly crowned champion, Logan Paul, but it is strange to see the WWE Universal Champion opening the show with no fanfare or anything. He didn't even get an entrance. Miz's plan to relegate the Dark Horse to the undercard is in full effect. It's sabotage. All the attention is going to the made-up, multiversal, infinite champion, and not our real champion. This is malarkey. Wow, Saxton, no need for the foul language. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Ooh. What? Here we go. 
go that WWE Universal Champion is going to put Logan Paul in his place. You're as gullible as the Dark Horse, Saxton. Paul's not here, but that doesn't stop him from messing with the champ. Caught with the boot. Oh, vicious right forearm. And Corbin is being handled here. Corbin might just be waiting for an opportune time. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Corbin able to reverse. And Corbin puts a quick stop to the momentum that was... Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Harlem sidekick. I see a cut, too, on Corbin after that. And that failed to hit the mark. Saw that one coming. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. Oh, wow. Lights out. He's looking a little weary now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. These consecutive attacks have him reeling. Yeah, and every attempt to fight back is being negated. It's a revolving door of forearms. Up into the torture rack. Feast your eyes. And Corbin's laid out. Shoulders down. can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. Not at all what Corbin wanted. This might only increase his rage.